In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to run JavaScript inside your Elementor pop-up. Now, I'm making this video because I've had issues in the past, and I did a little bit digging, and I found out a solution. Basically, here's my example. If I go ahead and open my pop-up here, and I click on one of these, it's just a simple um, experience functionality here. Great experience. It's going to show me a great experience form. If I click on bad experience, it's showing me a bad experience form. So I'm going to click on great experience, and it's going to go ahead and show me the form, and it's going to remove my um, container above with um, the rating functionality there. And that's pretty much it. So hopefully you guys end up enjoying the video. If you do, make sure to like it for the YouTube algorithm. And if you have subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I hope you enjoy. Let's go ahead and begin here. Now, in my last video, I showed you guys how to create this experience functionality. And it pretty much works like this. You can just rate your experience. How was your experience? Great or bad. If I click on a great experience, it's going to show me a great experience form. If I click on bad experience, it's going to show me a bad experience form. And now if I click on great experience, it's going to show me the great experience form and it's going to remove the section above that was allowing me to choose a great experience or bad experience. That's what we're going to be adding to our Elementor pop-up. I'm going to be showing you guys how to run JavaScript on your pop-up. So first of all, let's go to your dashboard. Let's go into um, templates, pop-ups. Let's add a new pop-up. And then let's um, paste our name or pop-up here. So we're going to call this um, rating pop-up or something. Now, if you guys want to follow along and create that simple rating system, I'll maybe have the link in my description so you guys can check it out. It's not really use a template here. I'm just going to go into my container here and I'm going to grab this um, functionality that we did in our last video. So I'm going to copy the main container here this main one. And I am going to actually before I do that, ah, you know what, I'll just do it on here, I'll remove the minimum height. So I'm going to paste it in here. And that's fine. And let me remove the minimum height here. I just don't want that at all. And then let's change the color of the background, um, which we should have done here, but it's background and let's change this to the main dark background here. So that should work, right? And then we have our HTML in here, but we can also add that in our Elementor code um, and also show you how to do that after I um, I go over how you can get this to work. So if I click publish, do um, a non-click, right? So let's say it's on the entire website. That's fine for now. And it will click. And then let's go over here. And I'm just going to paste a button just to show you the example here. Not really going to name it anything. I'm just going to, and I'm attach my pop-up to it. And I think we call it rate pop up yet. Yeah. Let's hit update. Let's view this now. Click here. So we have our pop up. As you can see it doesn't work. So we can't click on this. It's not working. So what we need to do is add our functionality or a jQuery that I created into a script that pretty much listens for Elementor to be loaded first. And it's this one here. And I do want to give a shout out to the people that um, came up with the script. So here they are. I'll also link this in the description so you guys can grab the code from here. But I will also include it um, with my code anyway. So I'm going to grab this one here. This is the one that seems to work. So I'm going to grab it here and I'll go over it briefly of how it works. Um, so I'm going to copy this code here and then I'm going to go into my pop-up. So let's make sure that we edit our pop-up here. We've got a rating pop-up, right? And let's adjust this. So we still want it inside our script. So let's paste it in here. And basically we're running jQuery, which is great. So pretty much we just have a jQuery here on load and it's basically waiting for our pop-up to get loaded. Um, once that's fully loaded here, we can go ahead and run our um, our script. So that's pretty much the gist of it. Let's grab this script that we created, this jQuery. And let's paste it right in here to remove the run your code here. And let's paste it in there. Now let's hit update. Let's go ahead and preview this. Now, of course, it looks like this just because um, of that. But let's actually go to the page where 
where we want it to go to. It's this one here. And there we go. You can see it's working. But another thing you can see is that it's also um, affecting our um, our page as well. But that's just because um, they have the same classes. But obviously, if we were to have this pop up on a different page, let me just show you. So let's say I get this pop up on this page. I mean, this would be even perfect too. If I just have it on here. And in case you're wondering where, um, if you want to download this uh, template, I do offer it. Uh, you do have to pay a small fee for it to support the channel. Um, I'll have it down in the description. So let me go into pop-ups here and go ahead and go into rate pop-up and hit update. Just make sure that of course you don't have the same classes um, around your site because obviously that will affect other elements. Um, but I just wanted to show you that example here. So I click this and we can either go to great or bad experience. I'm going to go to bad experience because I just showed you um, great experience earlier. And as we could see, it goes to bad experience. And that's pretty much it. If you did want to add this code, by the way, um, you want to copy this code and add it to your Elementor code, that's not a problem. Just go into Elementor, custom code, um, add a new one, paste it in here, have it in your body end, that's always good. Um, just per performance reasons. And then go ahead and give it a name, publish it, publish it either to the entire site. If you, for some reason, have the pop-up work, working on the entire site, or you want to do singular, if you're just having the pop-up show on, um, on one site. So that's always good to note. And you just select that. You need to go front page or pages and select your page, click save, close. And that's basically it. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to like it for the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Thanks for watching.